class. Today we are going to look at cell cycle and mitosis 6.2. But today we only focus on the first part that is cell cycle. The learning standard for today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the phases in a cell cycle. Okay, so we look at cell cycle. What is the definition of cell cycle class? Yes, the cell cycle is the sequence of events that involve DNA multiplication and cell division in order to produce two daughter cells. And these cell cycles that consist of interface and emphase. So we look at the floor map of the cell cycle. Cell cycle consists of interface and also emphase. The interface has three subfaces, G1, S, G2. So class, always remember the sequence, G1, S, G2. Okay, G1, S, G2. Emphase. Emphase consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. Mitosis itself made out of four surfaces, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and also telophase. So class, today we, we will only focus on the interface, which are G1, S, and G2. We are going to see what happens during G1, what happens during S phase, what happens during G2 phase. So and first, there are mitosis and cytokinesis we are going to see in the next lesson. We look at this animation class. The cell start with one parent cell. This parent cell will undergo interface, which are G1, then S phase, and then G2 phase. After finish the interface, the cell will enter the M phase which made out of the mitosis and cytokinesis, okay? So the cell will undergo prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and finally cytokinesis. After cytokinesis, they will form two daughter cells. So we look at the interface. Interface is the longest phase in the cell cycles. The stage of the cell to grow larger and prepare for cell division. So interface is the phase which prepare the cell for dividing. In matter of three surfaces is what we have learned just now, G1, S and G2 phase. So you can see from this diagram, okay, the interface is the longest phase in a cell cycle. G1, S and G2. We look at the G1 phase. During G1 phase, the cell grows actively. The metabolic rate of the cell is high. The cell components like mitochondrion and endoplasmic reticulants that are produced during G1 phase. The protein are synthesized also during G1 phase. And the nucleus now looks big. The chromosome is in the form of chromatin. Chromatin means that the chromosome is in the thread line. It looks like thread. It is very fine. Okay, so this diagram shows the chromosome, which in the thread like condition. So we call it chromatin. During S phase, the DNA synthesis occurs. So S phase, synthesis phase. What happens during S phase? DNA synthesis. So DNA in the nucleus is replicated. Replicated means that each chromosome now, they multiplies into two identical sister chromatic, or we can call it duplicated chromosome. Both chromatic contains the same copies of DNA molecules and both sister chromatic are joined at the centromeres. So we can see from this uh, diagram class, chromatin or chromatin. Okay, so when the chromosome is in the thread line, we call it chromatin. Okay, so when the chromosome undergo replication or duplication, we call it duplicated chromosome. So the duplicated chromosome made out of chromatic, this is chromatic, and this is chromatic, 
So they are sister chromatic. This diagram shows two chromosomes. Okay, this chromosome have undergo duplication. When this chromosome undergoes duplication, or we call it replication, they will form duplicated chromosome. Okay, duplicated chromosome made up of two chromatic. This is chromatic. This is chromatic. Okay, there are two sister chromatic which join at the centromere. This is another diagram. We can see there is unduplicated chromosome and this is the duplicated chromosome. So when this chromosome undergo replication or duplication, they will form the duplicated chromosome which consists of two sister chromatic which will join at the centromere. The another diagram shows this is one chromatic, this is another chromatic and they are sister chromatic that join at the centromere. These are the duplicated chromosome. That means the chromosome already undergo replication or duplication. So we finish about S phase. Now we look at the G2 phase. So the cell continue to grow during G2 phase and with active metabolism. The cell gather the energy because the cell division requires energy. So during G2 phase, the cell gather energy and make the final arrangement to enter the next stage for cell division and prepare the cell, or we can say it prepare the cell for after finish interface, the cell will enter M phase. So during M phase, the cell division occurs and it consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. Now, we already finished what we need to learn in today's lesson. Now it's the cell assessment time class. We look at the first question. G1, S, G2 and M in the diagram A shows the phases of a cell cycle. Which of the following is correct about S phase? So what happens during S phase class? Accumulation of energy, synthesis of DNA, synthesis of organelle, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Which one is correct? Good. The answer is B, synthesis of DNA. S phase, synthesis phase. So during S phase, the DNA replication or duplication occurs. So this we call synthesis of DNA. The next question, the figure shows the phases of a cell cycle in an organelle. So what are P and S? We look at the diagram. Parent cell undergo P, S, R. So what is P and S? Good. The answer is G1, S. So always remember the uh, interface method of G1, S, G2 must follow the sequence. So P is G1, S is S phase, R should be G2. So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you class.